Before we get into December 94, Arn, I wanted to talk about this weekend because a few special people in your life had some big moments this weekend. And we'll, we'll start with the Hall of Fame. Uh, a few folks I want to talk about. Number one, Paul Heyman. Uh, he goes into the Hall of Fame. Don't know if you got to catch up with the speech, but from the years of Dangerous Alliance, working with him in WCW, all the way through working behind the scenes with him, what you did there in, in your WWE time, to see someone like him recognized for his creative genius. How cool was it see, to hear about him going to the Hall of Fame? Well, he certainly earned it. I mean, his body of work throughout the industry, and I think that should play a part of some of the entrance into the Hall of Fame, just their body of work. You know, it's not that they were used on top and they were in so many main events or X number of big matches or all that, but what was their body of work to contributing to the business? And a guy like Paul Hammond, how can you deny him? You know, he's been in there and uh, for what, 25 years? Yeah, off and on. I mean, yeah, he had a little time. But listen, and he did his speech was his way. And I loved every freaking second of it. Uh, so good. He threw the leather coat on the headset. He had the, the phone. He brought brought out the phone that he used to crack so many skulls. It was so good, dude. It was it was it was well done. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, Barry and Mike. So yeah, happy, so, so happy for those guys. Any accolade you can give Barry Wyndham is probably not not enough. You know, he, uh, we say it all the time. That guy was so good. Mike Rotundo, tremendous performer, probably underrated from just what he brings to the table. I mean, the guy can have a great match with anybody and, and a good solid guy. And with uh, the, the, the year that he's had, you know, I'm glad that he had something, you know, to really just feature him to get, get his mind on just his career because he did. If you knew Mike as a producer, if you knew him as a performer, you saw just how in tune he was. And, uh, I'm very, very happy for both of those guys as well.